I'm about to hit y'all in the head with some with a, with a real story, right? That y'all not gonna believe. Like I just found out all this information. I said, you know what? I'm gonna share this with my team because it's just mind boggling information, right? So check this out. Right now we got the COVID-19 going down. Um, a lot of people are dying, right? And I lost two people, I lost uh, a friend and I lost my aunt, right? To COVID, she was 82 years old. Now, here's the thing that's going to trip you out. There's so many deaths right now, right? Check this out. There's so many deaths right now. They don't have nowhere to put your, the body. Cool. So right now, they are putting bodies in mass graves. They are putting bodies in refrigerator trucks, right? You ready, you ready, you ready to hear something that's real crazy? So if your significant other die in the hospital... Nobody wants to take the body from the hospital to the cremation place, the cinemer, uh, to, 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 the, to the funeral place, right? So it's two locations, whatever, unless you get an autopsy or whatever, right? So what's crazy is, and this way it gets weird and really real. The funeral homes, the cremation companies are gouging the people you want you want you want you want you want you want us to come get your mom you want us to get your aunt you want us to get your uncle that's that's fourteen thousand that's fifteen thousand just to bring the body from the hospital because the body got to get released from the hospital if they die in the hospital right so then so now you stuck because you gotta they getting you because they you know they know people dying they know you can't do nothing about it so they they hitting you for everything they did to the cold crush right Cool. So now you got to deal with that. Then if you do get the body from the hospital to a funeral, you can't have no funeral right now. The backup is three to six weeks with a body like they just don't have nowhere to put the bodies. Right. So this going to make you laugh, but it's bugged out. Right. So I'm talking. I call my homeboys. Right. So I got a lot of dudes back home from Newark. Right. So I call my real ones, my day ones, the real ones, the dudes that be in them streets. Right. So I say to my man, I say, yo, man, I'm having a dilemma because nobody wants to pick up my aunt from the hospital who is deceased. He was like, yo, my man, like I can help you. What you want to do with the body, right? So this is how they talking. What, what you 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 want a funeral? You 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 want a cremation? And I was I was like, yo, I I can't even get the body from the hospital, so I don't even know what we gonna do. He said, yo, I'm telling you right now, I got a man right now. My man right now, he cremating for nine hundred dollars. I said, nigga, what? They charging fourteen grand, fifteen grand, sixteen grand, twelve, eight, seven. This motherfucker said. 900 i said nigga what you gonna put my auntie on the grill nigga like is you gonna just like you know <laughs> like how you want your auntie smoke hickory like what for 900 dollars, you ain't cremate nobody she on the grill she had to cook out no it's the auntie out that's what it is it ain't no cookout it's the auntie out you know you had to cook out like talking about man why something smell like my auntie <clears throat> oh something don't smell right in here it's your auntie on the grill while y'all eating uh, other stuff, chicken and, 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 and ribs and stuff, this dude for $900 grilling your family, bro. True story. People, do you honestly believe the...